Look out! He has seized this national stage. I'll just stay home, but I like to win, you know? Stadium, an eerie quiet as they await the Clemson team about to begin their bus ride ritual that began the 72 home finale. It was suggested by a player, Ben Anderson. They put the chips in, guaranteeing they are all in for this game. And Kirk, they just got their pep talk. The guys are amped up. Now they get crammed together in buses, fully padded, sweating. It's not for the claustrophobic at this moment. It's very different. And from any other entrance in college football, like you said. Coach just got done saying, let's go do this, 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 and then, and they're used to it, but then instead of running down the hill from the locker room, they load up on these buses. They go on the west side, they go along the north, and then enter from the south. Three buses, the offense, Dabo Sweeney, that's a number one bus. The defense, there's a louder bus, number two. The reserves bring up the rear, and this is their destination. This rock that was brought from Death Valley, California, placed atop that hill by Coach Frank Howard. It's been touched by the Tigers for exactly 50 years now. It's been chipped away a couple times. You can see the damage. It's now well protected. And then they'll run down that 26 degree hill. It's steeper than it looks and make this grand entrance. Sometimes the buses are very quiet, Kurt. The defensive guys tend to be louder than the offense. Sometimes they'll get a beat going in there. Yeah, the, the offense is thinking about their assignments and execution. Defense is getting sky high. They're getting fired up. One time they knocked the window out. Kind of an over-aggressive headbutt broke the glass. They've been cautioned against doing that. Two right turns are involved. West and along the north side. The stadium is actually laid out in east-west configuration. When they get ready to make that, that final right turn, they'll be 50 yards from getting off those buses. That's when the players say, the crowd noise, you get a glimpse, and it comes up to another excitement level. They're getting close. Slightly uphill journey. Some guys say it's a blur, some guys say it seems to take forever. They'll gather at the gates, and then the cannon shot will cue their run down the hill. Lamar Jackson of the Cardinals saw this two years ago. He saw Watson, one of the captains for the corner. He does. He wanted to run down the hill. Didn't get to tonight.
enough to ever witness this, you will not forget it. Perhaps the grandest entrance in sports. Now, which side will handle the emotion and execute in the showdown game? We've seen it go both ways, Kirk, games here in the past. You're right, it can go either way. The emotions play such a big part in the game early after not just this entrance, but what's at stake and the way these teams have played early in this year. It's been an Tom Rinaldi with Coach Bobby Petrino. Chris, thank you very much, Coach. So much hype and focus on your sophomore quarterback here. What do you expect from him to be successful tonight? Oh, he's going to come out and play relaxed and just do what he does. Get the ball to his players, mix it around, utilize his ability, go out there and have fun, have a big smile on his face. If you're successful tonight, what will the difference be? I think it'll be our ability to stop their run and for us to make big plays on offense. Thanks very much. Good luck, Coach. Thank you very much. Let's go across the sand. Coach, there's been so much talk about how to stop Lamar Jackson, but in your mind, do you have to contain him in order to win this game? <laughs> yeah, he's a great player. We've got to tackle him. So what's priority number one when he has the ball in his hands? Tackling. Oh, well, that made it really simple. Tackling That's all, all you got to do. It's really not any more complicated than that. we got to tackle. All right, well, then I'll catch up with you about that at halftime. Chris? Yeah, it sounds simple, Samantha, but it's been very difficult to get a hand on number eight. He's so slippery, so speedy and elusive. Deshaun Watson brings more big game experience into this matchup, of course. 48 and 6. That's the one loss record for Clemson under Dabo Sweeney here. Clemson won the toss, deferred as we expected. And as we expected, Louisville will get the football first. And they've been a very fast starting offense. Touchdown inside of the first five minutes of all four of their games. Three times scoring on the first possession. More emotion than we usually see from Deshaun Watson. No doubt about it. I think he is very, very inspired because of Lamar Jackson and the success that he's had and the attention he's received. Deshaun's still out on the field. Yeah, he's As if this crowd needs any more reason to get amped up, he's waving a towel around. As you said, very out of character. You don't see him show very much emotion. How will that translate to his execution? Special teams, a problem for Clemson a year ago. They gave up three kickoff returns for touchdowns, including one to Drake in the championship game and one to Samuel in last year's narrow win at Louisville.